Goku's back! Yeah, he lives! Me. He's here! Yeah. He lives! <laughs> I was told it wasn't as good without me, so I decided to come back. Um, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> so, how you doing out there, gamers? Gamers, with gamers, a Z. yeah, with the Z. Gamers oh. with the Z. It's terrible. I don't know about you. It's hot. Uh, so it's I'm, really I'm hot today. Yeah, I'm like, like well, I mean, today is first day of June. This is true. Like half the year is yeah. gone. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> like, like let's, let's I mean, today made me ad, today made me an ad firm believer that today was the half. Was yeah, I woke up. I was like, it's seriously, <laughs> it's seriously like June first. Like it's like the first of June of two twenty seven. Well, at the end of June, we're going to Vegas. Are you? Mm -hmm. I went to Vegas back in March. This has nothing to do with video games, but I went to Vegas back in March. Had a great time. I didn't, he didn't even gamble. He I didn't, didn't even, even try. I, you know what? Now, he I was didn't do like, anything I was there for like four, in the Sin City. Like four he did days. No, you did and didn't nothing. do it. Yeah. And, and where I stayed at, there were plenty of slot machines and everything. I didn't, you know, and I felt unfulfilled, so I think I'm going to have to go back. So my question is, how are you going to go to the Sin City and not do anything sinful? Well, oddly enough, I was in Sin City, Sin City for a church event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. How ironic is that? So oh, the irony. Anyway, um, uh -huh. big news. We're going to have Tekken 7 tomorrow. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're going to be getting in Tekken 7 tomorrow, and you'll be able to get it here at the store for forty nine ninety eight. dollars Now, don't pay $60 at all those other retail stores. 10 bucks cheaper than retail? 10 bucks cheaper. Come get it That's here. That's even cheaper than used at GameStop. And. <laughs> For all you smarty arties out there, we have our report card special that's back. Mm -hmm. So yeah. all of you that, you know, either whether it be, could be college or, you know, could even be, you know, elementary school, high school, middle school, doesn't matter. All of those are fair game. So, you know, all your A's and B's will give you some money off on your purchases. A's will give you five bucks off and B's will give you two bucks off. Right. Per, per one. Right. So, yeah. Right. But remember, so, I mean, it's only one report card. You can't just print like a lot of them with your name on it. Yeah, and, bring and it does have to pass like twenty years ago. <laughs> and it does have to be a physical printed copy. So make sure you bring that in, and you'll be able to get that. Mm -hmm. uh, as usual, we've got plenty of handhelds and all that stuff going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but anyway, uh, today we're stepping in my territory, which is the WWE wrestling games. Oh, uh, there have been a lot of a lot of great. Uh, games that have come out like WWE 17 is a, is a mm -hmm. great one. I haven't got to play that one yet. Um, and I did, and I don't even play wrestling game brand. Yeah, and he liked it. Um, mm -hmm. But WWE, okay, we need to do something about that. What? Um, give it a friend right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Whatever. Anyways, so. I'm sorry, he just tried to flick a bug and it, it didn't work. Yeah, they anyway. really bug him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's back. Okay. Uh, he's She's like, now this is why I didn't want to come back. Yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, WWE 16 was great. It was great. Uh, SmackDown, shut your mouth. Arguably, in my opinion, the best of the video game, WWE video game series, period. Well, what about Bring the Pain? Uh, Here Comes the Pain. Here Comes the Pain was all right. Uh, the, the issue with Here Comes the Pain, the storyline, the story mode wasn't as in-depth. Because uh, with shut your mouth, literally, I don't think I beat the story mode. It just kept going and going and going. And there were constantly new things going on, and with each character, I, they had developed a new story and a different story for each character. Mm -hmm. And so, they, and there were um, there were just so many intricate things that they had put into Shut Your Mouth. Mm -hmm. um, it was, I don't, I'm not too sure if he was WWE, but the only wrestler I remember the most. I mean, aside from you know the typical Booker T, Goldberg, etc. Mm -hmm. My favorite one that I felt that was under the rock was the Boogeyman. Anyway, the other what? thing about Shut Your Mouth, please, the other thing, great me, thing about Shut me, Your Mouth, me which you remember is, the I remember the boogeyman, that disgusting creep. Um, He's going to get you. Yeah, no. <laughs> spitting worms on people and anything. Um, the, the thing about Shut Your Mouth that was so great <laughs> was so when he brought up Booker T, that was the other great thing. There were so many wrestlers that we hadn't seen in the WWE or the WWF at the time, territory that were crossing over, and mm -hmm. that it just made the, great, the games uh, so much great. Um, but for all the great uh, WWE games there are, they put out some pretty good stinkers out there. Um, and so they have a list of the top ten. I don't know if we're going to get through all of them. But uh, at number ten, which was very, very, I mean, for me, this was kind of one of the biggest letdowns because I was really looking forward to this game, was <laughs> WWE WrestleMania 18. Well, why was it a letdown? The configuration system was crap. For one, mm -hmm. um, 
the characters in there, I mean, there was a lot of characters in there that, were, that we were looking forward to playing, and uh, they didn't have a lot of their signature moves in there. Mm -hmm. And so that was one of the that was one of the big things for me. There was, you know, if I uh, game video games, and I think you can attest to this with fighting games. Mm -hmm. You know, games where I'm looking forward to playing as an actual person, I want to be able to use the actual moves that they're doing. <laughs> that like the say if it was Ryu that they're, with uh, like that they're was, noted for. Like say if it was Ryu Shoryuken or Ryu Sadoken or like a Zangief's uh, Ultimate Atomic Buster Grab, etc. Just anything like that that you know signifies like their character per se yeah that, like you know like signature moves like you know you that's said, like you said Ryo who Ryu Ryu from Street Fighter oh I'm trying to I, I, I thought you were speaking Japanese I'm sorry I didn't know I, they used to call Ryu not Ryu I've always heard it called, 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 called Ryu not Ryu I'm trying to consider like, there's different talking? pronunciations towards it to yeah, be fair but I'm say, what, like, what, are you, what are you talking about? Anyway, uh, by the way, if you have any comments or oh if you God. have anything you want to chime in in, regard, in regards to the, the it has WWE been game, five minutes. Uh, go ahead and chime in. But, um... Hey, Luis, welcome back again. THQ made the WWE, WWE games. games. The best. 2K ruined it, in my opinion. The characters look too bulgy. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, I, I can actually attest with that, even though like I don't play it. I at least, you know... It's all the trailers from back in the day, you know, yeah. like looking at the back of the boxers. Because honestly, like... the best three, the best three, really, were, uh, to your point, just bring it, shut your mouth, and here comes the pain. What about um, No Mercy on the 64? No Mercy was good. Mm -hmm. No Mercy, no, 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 no now, Mercy. That one was, I remember yeah. playing at a friend of mine's house. And it yeah, was No fun. Mercy was actually really good. Actually, that's one of the still uh, sought after uh, mm -hmm. WWE games. Um, but... In terms of WrestleMania 18, they said uh, the controls of the game were so uh, bogglingly bad. As you said, like the configuration. You're right. Mm -hmm. That um, this person ended up returning the game the next day <laughs> <laughs> out of sheer boredom. Uh, not that I was missing much. The game only allows two wrestlers in the ring at once. And if, oh my God, that is one thing that irritates me. And you know what? I'm, I'm waiting for the day, and I think that they, they may have fixed this with 17. But one thing that I um, that I've always wanted, um, like with the with the battle royals, uh, they only allowed up to like five to six wrestlers in the ring at a time, and that really became a problem when it came to the Royal Rumbles because with the Royal Rumbles you could have up no, to. No, they fixed that. I they, think the most that they had was eight at least. Yeah. But like you know, that's what I was saying. I think they fixed that with seventeen. Um, but up until, up We're until... We're not too keen on it. Well, I'm not too keen on it at all. Yeah, like, up until recently... I just remember the most I saw was eight, because a lot of my friends back at college were playing it. Just Yeah, really up until, up until and recently... And it had, you know, you character creation system and all that, and it was, you know, it was pretty good for what it was. Yeah. I mean, they even made me, they gave me, like, a bathrobe. It was great. Funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, up until recently, you could only get like six wrestlers in the ring and so knowing that now you can get eight that's mm -hmm. cool but you know when, again you want the authentic experience and so only being able to get so many in there is kind of do you even have cage match or anything huh did you even have cage match or ladder match or anything uh which game this one uh they did they did mm -hmm. um but it was really hard to play mm -hmm. it was really really hard it was, it was and really, what really else hard you got? to play um this one was kind of this. This one, honestly, I gotta take that back. This one, I think, was a bigger letdown than. Um, well, each one 18. after that one is gonna be a bigger <laughs> letdown. This is the well, ten well, worst. No, no, well, no, because I actually <laughs> looked. I actually looked at this, and there were a couple of games that, that I looked at here. I, I, oh I, I thought that I thought that it was um, WrestleMania 18, but it wasn't. WWE 15 was. That one was really bad. Um, well, yeah, it was. I, I mean, mean because the list is gradually getting worse. They to took out the, the worst game. <laughs> they took out the custom arenas. They took out the custom finishers, custom championships, uh, custom. I mean, How do everything. How you take out all the custom stuff? Yeah, everything that you could. I forgot the WWE game is called. I forgot what WWE is called. It's Hall it of Famers was... that made them look like all buff. <laughs> was for the three. Uh, Actually, that's probably the next one. Yeah. Yeah. The next yeah, one. I think, yeah, yeah, think yeah, it's called the Legends, yeah. of Wrestle... Legends of WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. That one was stupid. Um. <laughs> but yeah, it um. It pretty much they 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 I felt like they rushed uh, WWE 15 just so they could hurry up and get it out, and it was very apparent because it was like completely stripped down of everything that made the WWE games great. Mm -hmm. So anyway, to your point, Louis, uh, Legends, Legends of WrestleMania, WrestleMania was very bad. 
Just looking yeah. at them from here, they look really terrible. Yeah, I didn't even play it. I, I, I looked at it, I'm not, I'm not wasting my money on this. So, no, and I wish you could see what he's looking yeah. at. Yeah, it was so uh, bad. Dude. It made them all look like they were on roids. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. do! <laughs> I'm looking at this picture right here. Like, look at this. Hold on. Look at this. Do you see how bulky they are? Wait, there we go. I mean, look at that! They look like they're all on roids. It's terrible. There we go. Anyways, there. Like they like that. Yeah, that <laughs> one was really bad. That one was really really bad. So. Oh my. God. Then we have SmackDown versus Raw 2008. Mm -hmm. This one was a letdown for me because again I was really looking forward. I, I, I as you can see, I followed the WWE games every year. That was what I looked forward to every year. Now more so, I'm like in the Madden and the NBA. But I really looked forward to, and I still do look forward to the WWE games every year. So, WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, I looked forward to because they'd done a really good job with 06 and 07 with introducing the biggest, the big introduction that came in 06 and 07 was the general manager mode, which I think came in 07. Mm -hmm. But um, the general manager mode, you know, that totally change how you play the game because you were actually in control of shows and you you know you had the whole draft system that you were in control of you had your wrestlers wouldn't that be similar to the well it's not wrestling but like nfl head coach or something. yeah yeah it, it was that and that's what made it so so basically it's like they made you into the manager of the business right itself. right you actually got you actually got that feeling so that's what was so impactful to us uh, as you know as wwe gamers like wow i get to control my own show and i then, get to pick wrestlers and then while the people in the future are like, huh, I want to learn how to run, you know, a wrestling business. All right, let me just play this game. <laughs> like, really, I mean, because you had to uh, set up matches, you had to set up rivalries, you had to uh, pay attention to how long your rivalries lasted, because, and then they showed you uh, if you're, if the crowd and the audiences were actually into your rivalries or not, so you had to look at all of that, and so if your rivalries weren't doing good, you had to just, you, you had to disband it, and I mean, it was really, really great, so with SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 coming, you know, we're thinking that they're actually going to build on that, and they didn't. And the other thing about this, they actually they introduced ECW mm -hmm. into uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, but they only had three wrestlers from ECW. I'm like, what, what the heck? Why would you? <laughs> but the, but the what, thing uh, is, was the Boogeyman. No. What? <laughs> I would not buy that game. Yeah. So this said, you also decided to experiment with a new grappling system, which I didn't think they did a very good job of... What's the word I'm looking for? They might as well just call it the WWE SmackDown 2008 and not, or WWE SmackDown versus Three Raw. <laughs> I don't know the new grappling. I just, I just, I didn't like the new grappling system. It was too hard to figure out. That's mm -hmm. what it was. It was too hard to figure out. And for years, they used the same grappling system. Um, and and, and, and for, because for they figured, oh, they've heard from this. Uh, they'll be fine. Yeah, they, it, it was it was too nah. it was too hard to figure out, and it was too much at one time. I would have preferred, you know, if they had like slid something in, like you okay, change this, and so I had to get used to that. But it was it was just too much at one time. Um, and they introduced twenty four seven mode, which I it was. It, it sounds was, pretty no life. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was it was. Let's scroll time. to the top five. So, um, a raw two was pretty shitty. <laughs> yeah, raw two too was. Yeah, bad. it was raw. In your house is bad. WrestleMania twenty one. That was another one I really, really wanted to play, and it pissed me off. Well, I was I mean, looking like, from here, Stacy for Selena. Yeah, it was the WrestleMania twenty one. So even was as a kid, really I still remember those two. But from here, they actually uh, tr they actually experimented with a new company with that game. It was it what company good. was it? Um, Studio Gigante. Gigante, is that it? Studio Gigante. Gigante. See, that's how you, I hadn't even heard of this. Thing. Yeah. I barely passed Spanish too, and I know that. Gigante. Gigante. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to my defense, they told me that I could either take a foreign language or a fine art. And so I took a fine art, so I didn't take Spanish. Well, because I took my fine art in college. I took, and no, I took, I it took in high theater. I took, I took both. Because I had no choice. WB 2014 was, was complicated in 360, and it was 14. And Randy, Randy Orton on the cover. Yeah, 14. 14 was okay. I could deal. I could do. I could deal with 14. Um, but you're right. It was. It was really complicated to, to figure out. Um, WWF Royal Rumble on the Dreamcast. Okay, I don't even. I speak Spanish, remember. and I fail Spanish. When it hey! Is. 
<laughs> and AP. That's funny. That's funny. Um, I, my well, first... here's the thing. Like some people are better at talking in Spanish rather than you know actually writing it or speaking it. Well, yeah. not speaking. Oh, that's it's stupid. That's literally like contradicting what I just said. So basically, like some people are better speaking it than writing it or reading it, mm -hmm. and some people are better writing and reading as compared to speaking it. True. Spanish lessons 101s, amigos. Thank you. Uh, WWF Royal Rumble. Uh, my first time seeing that game, I think, uh, was um, what did that, you remember that Boomers? Uh, but what it was called before I was Boomer. It used to be called Camelot Park. Camelot Park. There it is. It was that, so much better. Yeah, it was. It sucks now. <laughs> Words Where's to my Spanish, Spanish teacher. teacher spoke <laughs> Spanglish hood Spanish. Spanglish hood Spanish. Dang. I like you. You need the, to come in here one the, day. The Just, Spanglish you need, hood. You need to join us on a broadcast. Yeah, you should. Uh, yeah, It'll you should come fun. in and join us on the broadcast. Remember Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays, Thursdays. Anyway, um, mm. uh, my first time was seeing that in uh, Camelot Park, and the graphics were really, really good. Even for an arcade, for an arcade game, the graphics were really, really good. And so I was looking forward to playing it on the Dreamcast. But for those of you who don't know about the Royal Rumble, the Royal Rumble in WWE, in WWE is you have 30 participants, and they come in every, I think, three minutes. They mm -hmm. come in every three minutes. So the stupid thing about this game is, remember, the concept of the Royal Rumble is 30 participants. They only had 20 characters in the game. How are you going to have the Royal Rumble? Well, to be fair, it was on Dreamcast, and Dreamcast was way back in its day, so it could only have so much data. It's, then don't do the Royal Rumble. I mean... You could... Don't do the Royal Rumble. <laughs> That's stupid. No, it was hype at its time, so just... Yeah, let him live oh with it. God. I mean, you know, you got to start somewhere. Uh, in anyway, why are we looking at a mobile game? That was the set because that's the worst WWE game. That is the worst. <laughs> that's not even on console. It's a mobile game. It's on the phone. WWE presents Rock Apocalypse. Rock Apocalypse. <sighs> yes. You <laughs> repeat the same wrestlers knock on Undertaker. Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. That was, yeah, it was awful. It was, I don't even know what Rock Apocalypse is. Uh, when it's I a saw shitty it, mobile game. It's really when I, when I did when Friends I saw of mine were playing it. I'm like, why are you playing this? Like, I even like try, attempt to play. I'm like, this doesn't make any damn sense. But, okay, so Rock aside from Rock Apocalypse being the worst Rock. game, so we could say worst console game is WWF Royal Rumble, correct? Yeah. Because I don't think, I don't think we can, you know, sell mobile games. <laughs> yeah. This is a great description. This said, oh the game played like ass and came pack in a whopping two game modes, Exhibition and Royal Rumble. Exhibition and that, Royal Rumble. That was it. Rumble. That was it. So, it was a waste of my money. Okay, well, what was the one before that? Because, like, I don't... Uh, oh, WrestleMania uh, 20. WrestleMania okay, 20. Before that one. Uh, in Your House, which I never played In Your House. I, I remember In Your House, yeah. That one was pretty bad, too. Yeah, I never... When people I, say San Andreas on mobile was better than the PS... <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> How are they going to do the jet plane um, cheat code? I think it was... Uh, PS2, PS2. Okay, I think I remember it. It was triangle, triangle, square, circle, X, L1, L1, down, up. That was for the jet, if I still remember correctly. Because I used to just buy the, I used to just use that code, get the jet, fly as high up as I possibly could, and then just jump out and just skydive towards the ground. Just, you know, impact like a missile on the ground. Then you just hear CJ go, Aah! and then he just dies, and it's just wasted. I'm sorry, I've been tuned out. I'm reading this horrible, horrible, horrible description of WWE in your house. The Undertaker had a fireball? What kind of foolishness is... But see, that makes sense, being that apparently they tried to capitalize okay, on the popularity actually, okay, of actually, Mortal Kombat. Okay, now I actually want to play that, just because I want to see the Undertaker shoot a fireball. That's, That's legit. Why does he shoot lightning? We're gonna be like, unlimited power. Please tell me you know what that from that's what that's from. I'm sorry, I'm still on this fireball from the Undertaker. 
You don't watch Star Wars, do you? I didn't know. I have lost all hope for you. In well, I take that. I take that back. I did go watch the last Star Wars, which but I really, did really you liked. See um, and I watched one, two, episode three, four, five, and six. I saw three. I saw one. But that's no. what it was. No, from. I'm sorry. I saw one, two, and three. I saw one, two, and three. And yeah, but that was that. from the third movie. I'm sorry, I'm not a nerd. Anyway, no offense to any nerds out there. Um, but we're all. <laughs> so anyway, that that was that. Yeah, in your house, I'll never. I've had it for today. I'll, I'll never. <laughs> um, but I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm just done. That was the the, the 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 worst. Just... Uh, but again, I think my favorite of the bunch had to be had to be Shut Your Mouth. I'll still go back and play Shut Your Mouth every now and then. I didn't really care for, which I'm surprised wasn't on here, two that I didn't care for was WrestleMania 19 for mm-hmm. the GameCube and SmackDown vs. Raw, the first one for PS2. That wasn't one of my favorites because that one graphically kind of took a step back. And then they had to create your own be- create a belt, which those belts look stupid. And the, the the options that they gave you were really limited. In his defense, he's not a nerd. Like, like he has a he graphic tee and he has a polo. Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> he's tr- it's he's true. He has yeah, a point. Yeah, yeah. Po- point taken. Um, I want the collar boys. Yes. Well, I mean, I you know. Well, at least you don't have. At least you don't wear double collars. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not back in 2001. <laughs> that, oh, wow, you took me back. Back in double collar pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the with the with the, oh with the collar pop. I thought everybody was. I thought everybody, was, was, I thought like everybody was turning into vampires in that year. Look what the hell's going on. <laughs> I still remember that, and I don't want to. That was like everything in my. Uh, fifth and sixth grade years it was terrible i never wore collared shirts until i had to in middle school but that was only for one year then after that i didn't have to and then luckily i went through all of high school not having to wear a collared shirt unless specified because i still had band but either way i had the last year that i was able to not wear a uniform so it was great that's why i hated going to tioga you know i to to your point louise i'm surprised i wear these um uh... I, I, where did I get this? Um, I just liked it. Oh, judging from the symbol, looks like you got it at Penny's. No, I didn't. That, um, isn't that U.S. Polo? No, but ASSN? that's not, No, but I didn't, I didn't get it at Penny's. I thought um, it was U.S. Polo Assassin, but <laughs> it's. I can't remember it because I got two of them. I got a, a blue one and a gray one. But I don't know why I wear these because I went to Tioga Middle School. I don't know if you're from Fresno, but at Tioga, we were forced to wear collared shirts that had to be tucked in. I hated tucking in my shirt so much. I still do today. And they used the crappy defense, defense that it was too, it was for our protection. So if they saw somebody on campus, they didn't have a collared shirt and wasn't tucked in. When I was Tioga, in. we didn't have to wear a uniform. Ah, they got oh, rid of it. Man, ah, lucky you. Count your blessings. Count your freaking <laughs> blessings. I hated it. I hated it. I'm sorry the thing is the, the thing is shaking, but No, but like I hated having to tuck in my shirt because I was forced was, to like that's was, dumb. It was, it like you don't have to. Stupid. Like the fact that I would have to tuck this in just because like oath for your protection. Like protection for what? So if you for see me somebody, not skidding my stomach? <laughs> so if you see somebody randomly walking around without a collared shirt or and without their shirt tucked in, you know they don't belong on campus. Which, the other reason why that was stupid is there were people on campus who were allowed, there were students on campus who were allowed to get waivers. And so, they would ran, they, they would be walking around without a collar shirt and without their shirt tucked in. So how do like, you know that? They didn't care. They are just like this, like all... It was, it, it, was, it was dumb, so... Actually, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm, this is probably gonna be my last day wearing this. You've scarred me. I forgot how much I hated it. <laughs> Actually, really liked this shirt, too. Because I, I, blue is one of my favorite colors. So I think that's why I bought so, this. So do you think I should go get a lighter from the liquor store over there so we can just burn it? I'm not going to burn it, but there's a Goodwill right now. Excuse my house. Um, so, but anyway. Nobody would fit into it. You're right, because it is super small. Um, but anyhow. It feels extra small. Extra small. I do. I wear an extra small. You're kidding. Yeah. You wear an extra small? I do. So... That would, like, barely fit me, like, up to, like, right yeah, here. Yeah, that'd be like a booty on you. Yeah, it'd be a little, like... <laughs> 
Yeah, man. Uh, forget that <laughs> uniform, uniform sounds horrible. How are you supposed, supposed to flex to with your Jordans? <laughs> You yeah. gotta flex them caps, yeah. man, the kneecaps. I mean, yeah, it's, take it it's, it's such, a, such yeah, a... Yeah, take it in and out. Such, take it in and out yeah, across such, the such a contrast. You got, got you on the Jordans. How long have you been working there? Uh, him or me? Uh, two years for me. year and a half now. Yeah. Uh, but to Louis' point, yeah, it's such a contrast. You got your flashy Jordans at the bottom, and then you got your polo up top tucked in. Oh, jeez. Yeah, bad. All bad. <sighs> All <laughs> bad. So, what what middle school did you go to? I went to Tanaya. You know what? I'm and that pissed me off. I was supposed to go there. I was supposed. Why to Why didn't you? I was supposed to go to Tanaya. I moved. Now, question: Wait, what year did you graduate? Well, um, like overall. This is actually my ten year reunion. Oh jeez. This and for I was, high school? Yeah. No. I was, yeah. So you graduated in ninety seven. Like 10 years ago. This is my 10 year reunion. 10, 000, 2007. Not my 20 year reunion. <laughs> this is going to be your 20 I'm year I'm sorry. <laughs> will you guys have to. Yes, yes we, we will, will have Josh. It. We mentioned yes, we that. Will. Yeah, earlier in the stream, we mentioned it earlier that yes, we are going to be getting Tekken 7 in tomorrow, and it'll be 49.98. Right, 97? Yeah. No. You're, tw you're 20 years old. <laughs> You are old. Yeah, I look good for thirty-seven. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> no. So yeah, this is my ten-year reunion. My so, ten-year yeah. reunion is going to be in twenty twenty. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, because you graduated swear, with my cousin Barton. I swear to God, if they, oh yeah, screw Denzel. Am I... <laughs> His cousin freaking <laughs> was in my marching band, and he did nothing. He was useless. Even if he's here watching this, you were useless, Denzel. You were useless. Wow, you guys <laughs> just made me feel older. Even older. 2002. <laughs> <laughs> in two, wait, 2002, 2002, I graduated elementary school from uh, that. that was, I, was, I was going to Tioga. I just started going to Tioga. I just, in 2002, I just started going to Tioga. Listen, I go back. Um, yo, you remember? Yeah, Daniel. <laughs> what, yo, Daniel, what do you play? I played sax. Sax one was the best. Here's the thing. I actually played the drums. I didn't play in the marching band, though. Well, yeah. Well, at least you I could, I played an do instrument. But, but you yeah. didn't do... But did you have a band class, or you didn't do it? Uh, no. Okay, I'm going to take that it. as a no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just graduated last year. Hey! hey graduated. Hey, at least congratulations. Oh, congrats to uh, all you grads that's graduating this year. True, in a few true. Days. Yeah, yeah, in a few days. Because I think some, so, well, some friends of mine in high school just graduated this year so okay. yeah i um i went back uh and you should go you should do that every now and then um or mm -hmm. unless you don't want to be depressed i went what? back and uh depressed I, about what? I went back and looked at my yearbook not from high school like senior year was lit my senior year in, in, oh, in, in, in high school was lit he used the word um <laughs> but i went and looked at my um i want you to look at my elementary school yearbook holy crap i went and looked at my middle school yearbook like I had this little fro. I wore, <laughs> I wore glasses. Did you have the little comb in your hair? Uh, no, I didn't. No, 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 I didn't. It wasn't that bad. Uh, but, but those were cool. Like I didn't really like, settle. Man, I want all that hair so I could do that. I didn't really settle into my prime. <laughs> Lit my dudes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really settle, settle into my prime until like my junior year of uh, high school. That's when like all I'm, I'm, I'm never, I'm never gonna forget that. Like the first day of school, the little Jew from my dude. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it was. Yeah. Um, I walked on campus and like all the girls started like, like, is that Christian? And I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm bald now. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't bald. I didn't, I didn't go bald. I didn't go bald until year before last. That's, uh -huh. that's when I actually decided to go bald. But I don't know. I actually settled, uh, settled into myself my junior, my junior year of high school. So, my so junior what year made you come year. to the conclusion that you wanted to shave your head? Something different because I, um, I had you didn't want to deal with the hair management. No, uh, cause I normally I I used to always keep it like this length and just keep it lined up. Um, and then I'm just here like got some soul glow on it. I did <laughs> soul glow. No, I actually I had a, um, I had an S curl. I had I, I had an S curl. Uh, I had like this mini fro. I had an S curl. Mm -hmm. Um, and for those who don't know, you know, I also uh, I, I sing I, I sing gospel, travel, singing gospel a lot. I'm like you still do that. Huh? I'm like you still do that. No, I do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I travel and sing gospel. And so... Um, Lord! Got I don't know. What's wrong with you? Anyway. Everything. Um, <laughs> so, I got tired. I, I just, I literally, like a friend of mine down in LA, he went bald. And I thought it looked neat. So, I went, I literally went into the barbershop. I was like, cut it all off. He's like, mm -hmm. 
what? I was like, cut it all, cut it all off. But I got a rude awakening because I didn't realize that being that I had hair on my head this entire time, he shaved his head because he saw Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel rocking. rocking it. Not at all. He wanted to be fast Not and furious. At he probably all. completely <laughs> shaved everything off of him so he could be the fastest swimmer. Man, see, Louis, yeah, man. He'd just be like, we, we was friends now. You know, you see, now we're going to surprise. Now he's man. better friends with me. So. Man, man, we're going to surprise now, man. We, we were supposed to be friends. But no, when I when I shaved my, when I, when I cut it all off, I didn't realize that um, this part of my head up was tan. <laughs> because I had hair, because I had hair, and so when I went completely bald, like this, all of this down to like right here was a shade lighter than the rest of my oh face. Oh my god! <laughs> and so I nearly he had a, like one of the, a heart attack he looked, when I was like, oh. did he look like the top of a pool stick? I, I did. <laughs> he wanted to be the pacifier. All right, no more. I, I like <laughs> the pacifier. No, that was so. So I'm not gonna tell you what oh, I did geez. to um, mm -hmm. shade it in. Um, but yeah, they, I, I was like, I'm not gonna walk around looking like yeah, well, this. Well, at least that prevents me from wanting to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to yeah. be looking like a pinhead. Like, who yeah, you no, call I was so head. upset. I was so upset. But um, I'm gonna stay bald for a little while. Actually, I just talked to my um, barber. There is something I'm considering doing towards the end of the year, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to walk in with it, and oh, I can't wait to see no. your response. Are you going to be coming in in platforms? No. no. With platform, tight leather jeans, and then just be like a like a member on Gold Member from Austin Powers? No, not at all. Not at all. Okay. But uh, it's not a guarantee that I'm going to do it. But anyhow, I, I love being it. yeah, I love being bald. But um, I like college. I really, really enjoy college. Um, well, I got an A in English, so. Oh, bye bye. So yeah, but anyhow, um, I don't know how we got to talking about year uh, clothes and yearbooks and high school and college and, funny. and my hair. Who you call him, Q ball? <laughs> oh, are you a fellow ball member? Are you part of the ball club too? Yeah, let's go. Come help me beat him up. Anyway, um, but it's Luis. Luis isn't bald. Yeah, I don't think. Are you bald? Why? <laughs> You, the you, first thing you ask the man, are you yeah, bald? Are you, are you bald? Are you it's bald? like, like say if somebody were to walk in this door right now, and they were, but you didn't even ask them. Like, you look at them initially in the face with the most straightest face possible. Sir, are you bald? And they just look at you like, nah. Well, <laughs> technically, but no, even though I shaved my head, I'm not bald. I know. Yeah, so that could be, you know. Kind of. Yeah. So, Unless but, you want to go like real, like skin deep and just be like you know, and then they polish your head with yeah. like a towel. I'm still learning to get I'm still learning to get used to it because my hair it doesn't break out really bad, but mm -hmm. that the hair bumps it. Yeah. No, I have a nice set of hair. <laughs> you have a set of hair. Yeah, he has a nice set of hair. A nice set. Of, you, you, uh, okay. Yeah, like mine. Okay. What? I used to part my hair. It was terrible. Isn't a set like two? No, not a, a set like two. He thinks you have a set of different hairs, like I mean, wigs or that's, something. That's what you said. That's what you said. That's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> I have a nice set of hairs, and he has like no. He has a nice settling multiple of hairs. Multiple to, hair. to choose from, which wouldn't be a bad thing because I know oh people God. who have uh, different wigs that they choose from, so they have a nice set of hairs. So I'm just clarifying here. So. Anyway, um, I'm absolutely. This has nothing to do with WWE video games. This this, has, <laughs> this is everything that has to do with WWE video games. I mean, we already talked about it, but I know we just went off left field. Yeah, we just funny. went like completely that way. Completely know, but that's that totally way. fine because you know then they can yeah. But seriously, stuff. Louis, come in next week. Like, come like in see, next no, week. I have a nice set of hair. Yes, he does. Yeah, like, come in next week. Come in next one Tuesday set or Thursday. Of hair. It's like a, you know a pair of shoes or like a pair yeah. of pants. Yeah. But no, he doesn't have a pair of hair. I, 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 I was confused. I mean, hey, some people do. <laughs> WWE video games are awful, all on their own. For I'm, me, that doesn't play them that much, and at least try to. They're not awful. Some of them are. No, they're pretty bad. No, they're not. <laughs> like, this is no need to deliberate. Yeah, yeah, this is completely opinionated for me. I don't like them. Well, that's just me. Yeah, completely opinionated. For, you know, if you were to get a bunch of friends and just do random crap on their shirt, that's fine. But, you know, if you were to, like, sit was, down and play for a long time, I can't. I will. I really can't. I will say, well, um, 
That's, that, I think that's you. The only thing. good wrestling game was... Yeah, Def Jam and Def Jam New York. You kidding me? What? Um, what? Posers. Done. Uh, <laughs> done. Uh, done. All right. Okay. I think that's you. That's, that's three strikes today for you. I think that's you in sports, game, sports games, period. Sports games for what? Like, you, you said WWE games are not for you. I think that, that, would you say you just don't sports? I would rather still play sports games. On game. the fighter? <laughs> He's just like, <gasps> I'm sorry. I, I, don't know. I know. All right, sorry. <laughs> we shall uh, purge. Uh, purge him. Purge. <laughs> He's so shocked. He purged this man right here. Purge him. So, oh, my uh, Lord. So, sorry. Okay. I was, I was looking to go into the Danger Returning game, game, and I just bought Def Jam Vendetta from your store two weeks ago. See? Okay. See, Def Jam is good. To each his own. What can I say? To each his own. Like, to be fair, like, out of all the sports games, I would rather play a sports game rather than just... I know it's all under the same thing, but I would rather play a baseball game, a basketball game, or a football game rather than... Well, wrestling, wrestling honestly, wrestling is for a certain a certain demographic. There are a lot of people who follow it and who play them, but uh, it is... Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, that's it is. Totally no, yeah, I'd rather just go out and watch it. Yeah, it is for a certain... Well, no, because I, I like like being able to actually play as The Rock or being able to actually play as Stone Cold. Do you want to play as The Rock that's... so you can smell what's cooking? He's, he'd be like, Oh, that's my pork rib tonight. <laughs> So I what is cooking tonight? I don't I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm just going to. You yeah. just wanted to smell what the rock was cooking. So anyway, what is he cooking tonight? Do you um, know what's on his menu tonight? I, 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 I don't. Is it something with a drink on the rocks? We're not going to We're not gonna get to any of this. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I played the very first WrestleMania on the NES. Hulk Hogan, Randy, my <laughs> Andre the Giant, Bam Bam Bigelow, Mita. Wow. Before that, yeah, I want to play that was the go- that was the yeah, game, Richard. Ice Cube was the that, was, uh, that was that was that was. I like that game, Richard. <laughs> Punch, Punch him, him in the, the face. face. No, no, Josh. I need to deal more punches <laughs> to. <laughs> that was a good one, Richard. I did like that NES. Um, mm-hmm. And there was a there was one on Sega that I really really liked. Uh, I think that was WWE in your house too. Had Undertaker, Yokozuna, uh, Doink the Clown. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, that. Um, Oh, who else was on there? Yokozuna, Doink the uh, Clown, Undertaker, mm-hmm. uh, I think. Oh, and Razor Ramon. They they Razor were all on there. That was a that that was a good game. So some of the classics some of the classics were good, but like I said, I think uh, the WWE games they're, they're for they're for a certain demographic. Mm-hmm. Um, they're well, definitely not for everybody, and they don't cover a wide spectrum as people a uh, wide spectrum of uh, fans as say like the Madden's or well, the NBA or whatnot. Well, Christian, let's face it. I'm pretty sure there's other options. Huh? But that's, honestly, that's the beauty of video you games. You didn't catch that comment. I didn't. I was ignoring it. I mean, it says right here. It says face. Yeah, I see it. So, so that's the beauty. It, man. Stop so, it. <laughs> that's the beauty of video games. There's something out there for everyone. What are you printing? I'm not printing anything. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, that's a brat. Okay. Um, but there's something out there for everybody. But um, anyway, okay, uh, this has been a it. very, very, very interesting, <laughs> very, no, very interesting day. It was day. fun. It was fun. So uh, thanks for uh, coming so, in. So last this. thing before we go, so be sure to come in anywhere between now and the fifth of June, because if you do, you get forty percent more trading bonus for all of your games. Okay. So remember to um, come in. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. It's been a great, great, great time. So uh, all right, we will. Uh, He's pretty test of square. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think. So. I flip you off, but um, <laughs> this is the family show. So. <sighs> That's a pro okay. card. Um, <laughs> uh, report card bonus. Yeah. Yeah. The report yeah. card bonus is off of your purchase. So basically, so like not only would you get a trading bonus off this, uh, the report card thing, you'll get uh, $5 and $2 off your purchases for A's right. and B's. How much? Right. Um, can I get Dario 3 for 360? Oh, uh, we, we'll help you in a bit. We're almost yeah, okay. done here. Sorry. We got to no, go. Okay. <laughs> we'll take care, guys. All right. Come in, Louie. All right. Bye.